morning guys welcome back to the vlog so i am in the bathroom i'm about to get ready a little bit because i have a couple of videos that i want to film today um pending if the things come in the mail that are supposed to come in the mail but there is like one or two videos i want to film that doesn't rely on anything coming in the mail today so i'm gonna go ahead and get a little bit ready for them and be more presentable in these videos because they are a little bit more on the professional side so um and serious side so i'm gonna do that and hopefully um have those edited and have them like ready for upload and i don't have to worry about it because every morning i wake up and edit the videos that i'm gonna post so i kind of want to get ahead of schedule that would be like my my dream to like edit three videos in one day and then like continue editing one video a day but then if i fall behind i have like three days of grace so that's what i'm going to try to do um so i'm going to get ready i don't really think i'm gonna do that much i'm just going to put a little bit of heat on my hair to straighten it just a tiny bit to kind of help with the frizz and put on some mascara and basically that's it and change my clothes my from the waist up <laughs> um but that's basically it so Let's do it. filming my video me and Mauricio are going to try to tackle organizing the kitchen because all of our cabinets all of the pantry and the fridge are disorganized and the fridge needs to be cleaned so we are about to do that so I'm going to show you guys the before and the after of each cabinet and also get rid of some stuff so that we can declutter because we have a lot of like multiples of stuff we have a lot of cups and a lot of appliances that we need to like organize so they're easier to access Across the room When our eyes met I never knew That I could feel this way And it's kinda strange Don't even know your name today too he's like we need this for her room and this for her room so i think everything you need right now yeah it's more just like little like knickknacks and stuff that we need not need yeah. but want i guess did you have a changing table or yeah that right there oh okay yeah. yeah you probably will find that you will like i did with you guys oh yeah i'm not worried about like I'm probably gonna change her in the middle of the night, like on our bed. I know, yeah. Yeah, I never had the changing table. Mauricio and I finished cleaning the kitchen. Well, we were organizing the kitchen and then I started getting like weird 
a weird feeling down there in your lady parts. <laughs> um, so I kind of stopped because it kind of made me a little concerned. So I stopped. Um, so I don't know if like that's my body's way of like getting per like preparing itself to go through labor or if it was because I was moving too much. I really don't know what it was, but now I'm in her room and just repacking her, um, repacking her hospital bag. This onesie looks big. So, I mean, it's the same size. What I'm noticing about baby clothes is I literally had a onesie pulled out or a sleeper pulled out that was zero to three months and it was almost smaller than newborn size. So I think I'm just gonna have to pay attention to the actual size of the clothes and not like the label because I would be so upset if like that was like one of my favorite sleepers for zero to three months and I didn't realize that it was on the smaller size. So when she got into actual zero to three months, she wouldn't fit in it anymore. So I guess I'll have to pay attention to that. But what I'm basically doing is I have preemie, newborn, and zero to three months um, all laid out. And I'm gonna pack them in little bags so that they're all organized and easy to grab. Like whichever size she is, we can just grab that and use that for the time we're in the hospital and not have to like dig through the hospital bag the whole time. But I will show you guys all that once I'm officially done with it and have everything ready to go that I want to have ready to go in her bag. I'm almost there, but I'm not 100% sure yet. So I don't wanna like show you guys everything I have in there because it's not finalized. So once it's finalized, I will show you guys everything I have in there. But for now, all you get is to watch me do it. Good morning guys, welcome back to the vlog. So we are at the hospital for um, my glucose test. So I don't need to come to this location. I don't know why I came to this location. I thought it was the location we usually go to, which is not in a hospital, but I just drank that drink inside and I have to be back by 1018. So I got the uh, lemon lime flavor and it literally just tasted like flat Sprite. Like it was a little bit sweeter than flat Sprite, but it was literally just like flat Sprite. So now I have to wait till 1018 so I can go back in in a crowded hospital and get my temperature checked. I wonder if they're gonna check it again even though I have this little sticker. Maybe. I don't know, I guess we'll find out when I go back. I've got my blood drawn and now I have no long, I have no idea how long it's gonna take for the results to come in, but hopefully they come in on Thursday and today's Tuesday because I have an appointment on Thursday and I kind of waited last minute to do this. So I'm hoping they come in in time. We have been home now from getting my glucose test done for a while now, but I got a package in the mail from Nectar Bath Treats. Get it. N D E P E N. Wait, did you say you got back from your glucose test maybe? Yeah. Oh, those are these are biodegradable. You can eat it, they said. It's made from corn. So don't, don't give it to her. <laughs> no, baby. <laughs> they did say those packaging peanuts were biodegradable. They're just made of cornstarch and they made a joke that said you could eat them. So I don't know if you should eat them. I think she wants to try one. So it says biodegradable packing peanuts. Your order was packed using biodegradable pa packing peanuts that ensure your treats arrive perfectly safely. <laughs> Made from starch or packaging peanuts dissolve in water, leaving no toxic waste, making your entire experiencing guilt their experience guilt free. Did it dissolve? No. Oh. It smells so good. Are you gonna get some water? Yeah. Okay, like I said, this is from Nectar Bath Treats and you guys know that I am obsessed with like self-care and baths and skincare and pampering yourself. So I am super excited about this package because I know I'm gonna get good use out of it. Mauricio is gonna try the packaging peanuts. I think it's pretty cool. I think that's cool too, but considering that, is it? Is it dissolving? It is. Oh, is it's it really sticky. dissolving? Yeah. Oh my 
gosh, that's really cool. I wonder if my sister uses that. Science. My sister work, works or worked, not now, but she used to work for an eco-friendly company. I wonder if they knew about these. They had to have known about them. And it is gone. That's pretty cool. They put a lot of them in here. Oh look, we have another loofah. We needed one of those. It's a freaking ice cream loofah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This one is. That was a waffle bath bomb. There it is. What is it? Blueberry, blueberry whip. Whip. Oh. Say whip. Whip. Say blueberry whip. Blueberry whip. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. <laughs> well, I guess that's going to be her loofah. I know. That's really cute. I love this. Where's the scissors at? There? Right here. Okay, and then they have bath bombs, which I'm mostly excited about. This is a... Oh my gosh, it smells really good. That smells amazing. Kind of makes you want to get a bath. Hey, no shame. It's like blue and white. I don't want to like take it too much out because if you guys know bath bombs are like soap, so there. I know that's what was in the other one, but those are burnable. It smells so good. It smells really good. It smells really like good. amazing. I mean, it comes in like this. I should probably open it like this. But yeah, it comes with an entirety of packing like fuzz. But it for like it to come out like this is pretty freaking rad. I'm pretty sure that's soap. Oh no, it's a bath bomb. Yeah, it's a bath bomb. It's a blueberry. It's a whole ass blueberry waffle. Waffle. With whipped cream <laughs> and blueberries. Oh my, that's really cute. Good job. What company is this again? <laughs> Nectar Bath Treats. Nectar Bath Treats. Please check them out. You know Valentine's Day is coming around. That's what I got last year, wasn't it? You yep. got me. I got it from Lush. Yeah. It's another bath bomb. Smells like, like raspberry. Cotton candy. Ugh. It doesn't actually smell like cotton candy. Okay, good. Cause I, just, I mean, it smells on the sweeter side, but not like the I'm just not artificial cotton candy. Cotton candy. I'm not a cotton candy kind of guy. These are so cute. What's this one? Your ball's right there. Oh, Harley's underneath the crib. <laughs> what the heck? Harley likes the crib now because she's protected. I don't think you can see her. Can you? She's, no, you can't. She's in here. Yeah. Here, Harley's. <laughs> she's oh always protected. That's cute. She's here, so little. You guys, you gonna protect your big, your little sissy like that? This one, I don't know what this is. It's like wrapped up differently than the bath bombs. Oh, this is like a cupcake. This is the cupcake one? It looks like it. Oh my gosh, it looks so real. Looks like a real cupcake, guys. Oh my god, don't you just want to take a bite out of that? I'm trying to focus it. I know, my focusing has been acting weird lately. Look at that. Pink marmalade cupcake soap. That smells good. It matches our carpet. It does. And then we get here. Oh, it's plastic. Bummer. But it's a lavender blossom body butter with shea butter and avocado oil. Is that lotion? Body butter. Yeah. It smells like fresh. Mm-hmm. It just smells... It doesn't smell sweet. It smells like florally. Mm-hmm. I like that. Because you're just like, I need some too. I know. I need to use it really bad on me. I got a Fizz Bar cotton candy. All this stuff is also cruelty-free, which is also important for me. Um, So, I don't know. Do you put this whole thing in there? I don't know. If it's a oh, candy... Oh, break off a piece and drop it in your bathtub. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. You got some lip scrub. It doesn't smell like strawberry. It just smells like a scrub. Yeah. But it's really pink. I mean, it kind of smells like strawberry, but. Mm. 
This is the Lavender Blossom Sugar Scrub Exfoliating Body Treatment. Again, it just smells like aloe. I don't know. It doesn't smell it sweet. Good, it just smells like clean. clean. Yeah. I like that. Because all of this yeah, I'm not is super fan. fruity. I'm not a huge fan of like super overly scented stuff, which you can tell is like super processed. But. And that's all. But that's pretty crazy that they put packaging peanuts in this. They're biodegradable. Anybody want to see it dissolve in water again? It smells weird. Just put it in there and it soaks and then... He's not going to let me throw these away. Well, I mean, we have to throw them away, but... It just, like, it's melting. I didn't even know they made those. That's really cool. You didn't put any of the stuff back in here, right? No. I think that's it. Yeah, that's all. I'm excited to try that. So you guys will see me try it either later tonight or tomorrow sometime for sure because I love me a good bath. Don't get me wrong. Dixie, on the other hand, doesn't like baths. <laughs> you want a bath? No, see? I'm not here. She's like, I'm out. And so is the little one. She's <laughs> like, I'm out. You guys said the bath word. Bath? What's this? What's this? Packing peanut? You can't eat it. No. Can't have it. Can't eat it. No, it's nasty. <laughs> this is like a good place um, for like Christmas and birthdays and stuff. Yeah, definitely. So, if you guys have any ideas, definitely check out this website and check out these people. Yeah. I'll leave their website link down below for you guys because this is some cool stuff. And if you are anything like me, you like to treat yourself and you deserve it. You deserve it. I forgot to end the vlog yesterday, so I hope you guys enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in our next one. Bye guys.